Welcome to another episode of You Both Suck. It's your boy, Canal Aurora, and coming in hot. Dara Pollock. This is a comedy podcast about conflict, yes. and uh, we've got a fantastic guest today. Dara, take it away. We have Jeremy Jacobowitz. Say hi, Jer. Hi, Jer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy. You told me it's a comedy podcast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am happy to have you here because it's nice to see one of uh, Dara's friends. Yay. Period. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's like, yeah, you just meet you've a few. Am I the first actual friend? Yeah, you've met many of my friends. I have. No, no, but, but I mean on the podcast, am I the first oh, actual friend? Well, I mean, Ali is a friend, but not okay. as close of a friend. Okay. Like, That's like a real, oh, like, okay, Ali's, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are like getting a friendly and sure. getting, right, but mm. you don't hang out, but this is like right. an actual friendship. Yes. yes. You guys, before the podcast started, you guys are bickering with each other. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, it's not like I'm going to be on her side about anything. No. Don't worry about yeah, that. exactly. Yeah. No. And I'm, <laughs> I'm sitting here just going, man, this is a lot. I feel, part of me felt like a, like a child in like an abusive home and I was like this feels familiar well I mean I was here for 30 seconds and yeah. me and Dara already started about fighting literally yeah. that's, everything that's our dynamic is we're just always fighting with each other right uh, but what's funny too I was gonna say is remember when we were on um, that pod the other day uh, seeing other people and mm -hmm. I was like what's fun about our pod is that we don't know a ton about each other right. so we're always kind of like learning as we go I was like Jeremy knows way more about me than you do yes of course like 1000% yeah. right. so it's just kind there of there was like a lots of accusals. There's lots of <laughs> jabs that were happening back and forth. Now, um, anyway, yeah. but yes, but Jeremy is a wonderful food content creator. Uh, one of the OGs, I like to say, of yes. Instagram and food influencing. Because you were never really a blogger, right? No, I can't write. That's why I make right. videos. <laughs> there we go. But I was a blogger <laughs> and that was how we met. I mean, I sometimes think about that and I'm like, we met via Instagram, right? You asked to do a YouTube video? Yes. Yeah, so like the original idea was like when I started Brunch Boys was I was working in food TV and I just wanted to like make videos. So then I, I was just making them and then I was like, oh there's this weird world of other food people mm -hmm. out here and like I was like oh I have like a skill that because they were mostly bloggers like you Dara or mm -hmm. whatever like barely being able to take photos but I couldn't really take photos either yeah. and I was like oh there's an opportunity here to like collab and do fun stuff with people and maybe like okay you know you don't most people don't know anything about video I could bring that expertise and have this little community mm -hmm. and now that seems so simple it's like yeah duh of right. course but like a decade ago yeah there right. was different so much different and there was no, like we were like a handful of people that were doing the food influencer thing. And it wasn't even influencers. We were just doing, you know, what we do for fun. Yeah. And it picked up, but there were so few of us. And now there's like so many food Instagram yeah, people. Yeah. I mean, I would <laughs> say insane. the most, I think like it's wonderful that everybody loves food. And, yeah. and like the whole TikTok thing is wonderful too. Like if you want to create, create. Mm -hmm. The thing that is annoying is that every single person on the planet saw my job and decided, oh, I want to do your job. And yeah. it's like, well, yeah. you know, yeah, <laughs> I worked really hard to get here. <laughs> and you just decided overnight that you were just going to do my job. Oh, yeah. cool. Thanks. I, I mean, will say though yeah. that your Instagram is just, what I like is that it's direct right to the point there's no there's no fluff mm. it's yeah. even just right off the top you're like i'm gonna tell you why yeah. let me tell you why <laughs> well, all that came let from, me tell you let why me tell is you so the way i speak like, yes. you know, like i'm from yeah. new york it's like yeah let me let me tell you why like right. let's just get to it yeah i hate when people like the word i know i feel like me and dad were talking about this like the worst thing in the whole universe is when someone texts me hey oh yeah you know it's like no no god damn it tell me tell what you me want tell me what you want because <laughs> i know you want something it's perfectly fine we all want something just get to it i don't 100%. need the pleasantries just get to what you want literally don't ever text me hey how are you <laughs> right i don't unless care. it's like three in the morning <laughs> yeah. right and they're like you text me hey all right that's fine yeah. that's a little different <laughs> but like hey how, or like just hey oh my god it's the worst i don't mm. know who these people are that are out here still doing this your yeah, videos all I've, the time i've yeah. realized the best way to describe it is your videos are like the jump to the recipe Ooh, okay. that's good. That's just really right. good. There's no. Well, let's just get right to it. Well, I that's mean, what it should funny be. Funny is like, I mean, yeah. it's just the way social media is. I don't really yes. actually like making short videos. Like I make YouTube videos that are much longer yeah. than mm -hmm. no one really sees. But it's just like those are sort of the lessons of you learn. It's like the attention. You attention have spans to. are so short. It's just yeah. like. Oh, just goddamn get to the point. And you right. want to stretch it out a little bit because you want to keep them watching, but like just mm. don't keep them watching too long. Then they get frustrated. And it yeah. is like a, 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 you know, a science behind it. Like right. there. Yeah, exactly. Like I did a training the other day for social media, like a social media training. And I said one of the biggest takeaways I think now is social media is very big on start on action. Like there's either an action shot with like a visual hook or there's an audio hook or it's just mm -hmm. it jumps right in because that's what you have to do now mm -hmm. to keep people's attention and to get them from to stop scrolling. Yeah. So unfortunately but that's that's where we are well what yeah. we have we do a thing called the fuck marry kill with yeah. every episode yes. and because you're here we wanted to do something special 
So oh. we've got uh, a fuck, marry, kill, and it is the arch deluxe. Hey, hey, hang on. No, 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 no. That's not how you introduce. That. Oh, okay. First of all, yeah. it's the FMK. Uh, of like 90s, 2000s, defunct fast food items. Okay. So like things that were discontinued okay. from mm-hmm. that era. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 We're right. leaning on nostalgia over here. Okay. So. okay. Well, <laughs> and I'll let me con- uh, pick it up where she left off. Mm-hmm. All right. So we have the Arch Deluxe from McDonald's, the Double Down from KFC, and the Mexi Melt from Taco Bell. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. And wait, Jeremy, do you uh-huh. know what all of these are? Arch Deluxe, I definitely I definitely know enough of. That yep. was like their adult thing. Yep. And they mm-hmm. were like, yeah, adults could go to McDonald's too. Right. Um, <laughs> we're now for humans. Yes. I don't yeah. know. Uh, yeah. yeah, the double down was when they decided, you know what? We don't need buttons anymore. We're <laughs> right. just going to use two pieces of fried chicken. This was the the craze yeah. of uh, when low people- Low carb. Just, yeah, the low carb Atkins. Atkins. I think this it was Atkins. The Atkins yeah, I mean, I mean yep. a picture of the, the chicken still breaded, but okay, sure. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> it yeah. was an attempt. Right. And what was the last one? Uh, and then the last Mexi one. Mexi Melt Taco Bell. Taco Bell. I don't know what that one so, is. So, well, with Taco Bell, you could basically take, they're all the same I mean, ingredients, yes, just same packaged month. differently. Uh-huh. Right. But it was like a combination of the fresco tortilla uh, taco thing. I think mm. it had like fresh salsa and it had mm. a lot of extra cheese. I remember there was like a, a three cheese blend. A three cheese blend from okay. their quesadilla. <laughs> I mean, again, and it was like rolled up, I believe. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yes. Okay. Right. So those are your three. So yeah, the uh, Arch Deluxe, KFC Double Down, mm. and the Mexi-Mel. Taco Bell Mexi. Mexi melt. So who wants to lead this off? Should we let Jeremy? Yeah, yeah gotta sure. let the guests go. I'll go first. I think I kill the Maxi Melt because I think you're right, Dara. It's just the same as all of them. So what is the difference? Why does it exist at all? We don't need Taco it. Bell. Get rid of it. Who cares? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think I would marry the Arch Deluxe. Because I think if you're getting married, you want, you know, a li- you're looking for an adult relationship. You're mm. looking for something a little bit more mature. Wow. Mm. So maybe okay. that's the one. And right. then, I mean, a double down is like fucking down and dirty. That's what you fuck. Because <laughs> you don't want that every day. That's too yes. much. You do that once and you're like, mm-hmm. okay, I did this in my life. I did this. I Maybe I pushed the boundaries a little bit too far there. And I, <laughs> I think it's it. <laughs> I tried it. <laughs> that was something you woke up the next day and you were like, I did that last night. <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm going to say right now, uh, you know, we never know where each of us yeah. are going with this. We never discuss it. We never discuss it beforehand. And I got to say, dude, you and I, complete alignment. <laughs> oh, complete really? alignment. Nice. Absolute alignment. I think that. That's so funny. Taco Bell is, there's only five ingredients to that place. Mm-hmm. And I'm it's upset. all permutations. <laughs> I'm yep. upset. It's literally, they can make 120 items and they just kind of piecemeal it together. I'm Does this have bean spread? Does it not? Who knows? And that's the beauty of it. Okay, I'm relax. Upset. And of course, the, <laughs> the double down is a disgusting thing you eat in shame. <laughs> Exactly. You do it in a in a rest in a- stop parking lot, and nobody knows. And you put your ring back on at the end of the night, and you go, "I hope she doesn't smell this on me." That's what the double down is. Yeah. I've I've eaten one, and let me tell you, I ate it from the bag to my mouth. Never told anybody about it. And people are like, "How was your day?" And I go, "I'm cool." And that was, and that's not mm-hmm. even fully answering the question. Yep. Oh my god. So, okay, wait. Uh, Dara, I need to know what are your answers because you're clearly pissed off with us i'm upset well yeah. because first of all i'm marrying the mexi melt because <laughs> of course you because would. you might as well just call it the sexy melt all right that is it insane is, i love taco bell everyone knows this and i don't care that everything is the same ingredients just packaged differently they do a fantastic Consistency job consistency is it. nice in a marriage it, I guess. exactly it that was yeah. my Seems thinking a little sure. boring to me it's you're boring. gonna get divorced Dara. absolutely you're definitely gonna be divorced yeah i mean i think vanilla that you're, sex you're years getting, and years and years yeah. into it. vanilla sex is what you're getting with the with the uh, arch deluxe that thing is so boring no 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 with the her arch... stupid inverted mohawk i'm not here for <laughs> the that arch deluxe has literally all boring. the food groups it's yeah. literally it has so all the boring food groups. so boring i want a little spice i want a little I want a little, I want a little bougie. Yeah. It's also, and, first of all, Dijonais has a little tang to it. Yeah. Uh, you just also reminded me, and yes, obviously, fuck the double down because, like, it, like we all said, you can't have that all the time. You mm-hmm. eat that in shame in the privacy of your own home, mm-hmm. probably in your bed. And you just reminded me, I actually reviewed it on my blog. The double down. In 2010. I don't think I ever ate it to me. Oh, I. I literally got this at work. Uh, I remember I was sitting at my desk and eating it and like taking the like old cell phone pictures and people like, what do you do? Like, look at these horrible photos. Yeah, they do not look good. But I ate one. Yeah, I ate one in a car, in my car. 
I mean, and I was very it, upset it, it about it. It doesn't look good, but also looks good at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You but, know what I mean? Oh, like, oh. It's, the option of no bread is kind of cool. <laughs> and so then I remembered this specifically was that because of the whole like low carb, whatever, I was hungry like shortly thereafter. It didn't actually keep me full, even though I felt very heavy and fat. Doesn't, and I, I had mean, what's snacks in the middle? After. Was it like bacon? It was and bacon, bacon and, and cheese. cheese sauce and, and cheese, cheese. Yeah. and veggies or no veggies? No, no veggies, veggies oh, just literally yeah. bacon this and was, <laughs> This was Atkins Insane. at its finest. Yep, that's what it was. It was during that era. It was the Atkins era exactly um speaking of eras actually you just reminded me i wanted to ask so going back in time thinking of like 90s 2000s whatever if you could go back in time to one era but like one specific day what would you if you could pick like you it could be like the jfk assassination <laughs> yeah my or, brain went somewhere else yeah uh, no in terms i mean of tragedies uh -huh. <laughs> so would mine but i'm just giving a for instance if you could pick one day and this goes for you too okay. i'm just curious it came to me the other day and i was like hmm where would i go like in time in time you could go anywhere in time but just for one day hmm what would you pick Wow, yeah. that is. I mean, first of all, it really lobs. This came out of nowhere. I know. Very interesting question to just I like throw to, at us. I like, like this. to keep things interesting. Yeah, I guess this. See, is... I'm the exciting one in the marriage. Right. That's why I'm keeping the Mexi melt. Okay, well, that's that's <laughs> not how I would describe that. You describing yourself as exciting is wild. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like when somebody goes, I'm cool. Yeah, I, I say sure. that literally all the time. Yeah, I know, which is the problem. <laughs> um, a day in time that I would probably go back to. Yeah. Uh, any it doesn't matter doesn't matter if you were alive or not you could say like 1970 if you have an answer Jeremy please by all means uh, <laughs> by I mean, all my means my answer is absolutely insane yeah. go for it I think maybe I'd go back to the day Jesus was born because I want answers Whoa. <laughs> look at how much chaos has been caused by yeah. us not Whoa. really knowing interesting mm. if you go there and be like I have my cell phone video be like guys now we know Right. So I don't want to fucking hear it anymore. Ooh, Interesting. That's a good, you know what? That's, you can tell an influencer <laughs> from a mile away. He's like, uh, I want to stop the toxicity of the internet. Yeah, of course. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to be honest. I'm a big Moses man. I watched, mm. I watched the 10 commandments growing up. It's <laughs> a great movie. I want to see what happens. A little you know? I, I want to see, it, does that ocean part ways? Or maybe it was a stream. <laughs> maybe yeah. they crossed over gently and he was like, just kind of like, I did this. And they're like, no, nah, bro, it's low tide. <laughs> I don't know, but I kind of want to find out. Hmm. Yeah, let's kind of take religion to task. <laughs> That's what we should do in this comedy podcast. Yeah, no, I did not you think know? that way at all. I want to I want to hit up Allah if I get a redo. It. See what happened over there. <laughs> That's not what I was thinking. Okay, what did what did you want to? <laughs> Dara's like ninety six. <laughs> uh, actually, I want to yes. stop the Pac murder. <laughs> yes, that's her hop. That's yes. her answer. What was your answer? My answer was go to the fucking MTV Unplugged concert for Nirvana. <laughs> <laughs> but Dara, if you could change history, yeah. but, uh, how selfish are you? Hang on a second. This is crazy. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hang on. You, Hang on. You Both of you are gonna <laughs> fucking change history. You're gonna go back and stop Jesus and I fucking just, Moses. For, Excuse me. Stop. We're not Narcissist no, levels no, no, no. are extreme. I wanted to just get a horn off that get golden calf and bring it back yeah. with me so I could invest here. it. Just want get a little, the just want some answers. Just okay. answers, maybe a little oh, bit of gold. I'm sure you guys would find the answers. Yeah, I yeah, trust I'd you to like, do hey, that. Who is his dad? Yeah. Some dude would be like, it's me. It's like, great, done. Right. And you're assuming that everyone would believe you. And I would have my, just I would like have my phone. iPhone. Yeah. That's why I have it. Meanwhile, no. you're out here going, man, <laughs> it'd be so nice to hear it unplugged. Hell yeah. What Hell a yeah. wild answer. First of all, I'm sorry that you guys went real deep with it. It was supposed to be a you fun question. question. <laughs> it's a fun question. You guys made it not fun. <laughs> what are you talking about? Congratulations. I wanted to see if he was You went working. political with it. I, Good job. Yeah, 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 Super fun. <laughs> Thanks for that. That I totally understand more about you now. <laughs> I mean, I guess also like the other, you could go with the other insane answers. Like, go back to the day Hitler was born and killed yeah, as a baby. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. I like literally did not think any kind of answer <laughs> in that realm was coming. I, if I'm being completely I honest, I thought it was going to be a fun question. I didn't think somebody was like, I want to go back to when I was 12. Yeah. Oh, wait, I have another one. The day of Obama's uh, speech, I'd be like, hey, listen, don't do that jab to Trump. You don't understand <laughs> yeah. what you're unleashing. Just yes. leave it be. Right. I know it's all funny. Okay, but it's going to get a fucking laugh, but just leave it be. That's the thing about this question is it's not supposed to be what would you do to motherfucking change history. <laughs> it was what's a fun thing you want to go back I'm, to. I'm sorry you thrusted sorry. time travel onto sorry. regular people. Sorry that I wasn't clear. It's a selfish thing. Well, it's you like where just, do you want to go you for just your led enjoyment? With, you know what you should have done? You should have been like, hey, have you guys 
guys ever wanted to hear Nirvana unplugged? <laughs> no, that's, that's you, insane. Have you ever wanted to hear Rape Me Live? No, <laughs> that's what you yeah. should have said. I didn't think that you were going to propose time travel. Well, it's still time travel, doofus. <laughs> I'm just saying. Watch it. I'm just saying. Maybe there's like an AI, like, uh, like they visual that. experience that we would have. Like, if from Star Trek, you like step into a thing. Maybe oh. we'll have that soon. And then you could relive it without going back in time. That's yeah. true. That'd be yeah. nice. Well, they do AI covers now of like dead celebrities. No, no, but so. I mean, like, you could go into a room and you're literally in the room, but it's all AI generated. Mm. So that'd be kind of interesting, there, right? Really mm. Well, so I hope. Change anything. Yeah. I hope that they do. You and I reason. still won't get answers. <laughs> but yeah, at least yeah, Daryl will exactly. be happy. Exactly. <laughs> Sorry for asking a fun question that you guys ruined. <laughs> all right. Well, let's get. <laughs> <laughs> I thought our answers were pretty realistic. They seem kind oh, of. Oh, I'm, go. I'm so comments. important yeah. that I can change history because I, I think that we're not highly trying to of change myself. history. We oh, just, I'm trying to change history. I just want to see what's up. <laughs> and now we know who the narcissist I just, is. You know what I mean? I want to roll in the desert. Sorry was it? That I want to save uh, humanity. I, was oh it 40 years? Maybe it was just four hours. <laughs> I want to taste mana. Is was it that bad? We'll see. Did you just say taste mono? Yeah, no mana. That's what they oh. had to eat in the desert. They had yeah. to eat that for forty years. That's all they had. They right. mono like this, the disease. I want to. I want to see if there was a gift of myrrh. In it. Oh Did he God. get myrrh? So boring. All right. Literally never. Okay. Well, then you know. In the meantime, yes, let's. You want to go into a squabble? Yes. Let's get into the squabble for today. Okay. Um. <clears throat> all right. So, it's thirty. Little, little. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Um. 35 female Chicago. Is it insane to feel left out over someone's IG story? To be clear, these are friends I don't see all the time, but most of us don't live in the same place anymore. And we are close enough that when someone is visiting from out of town, we all get together. Or if there's a birthday or a wedding, we're all together. That said, one of my friends and former roommate from college for a few years after that too, I might add, got married a few weeks ago and she only invited me to the reception, not the actual ceremony. What the fuck? First of all, I didn't even know you could get invited to separate parts of the wedding, but to find out that every other friend in the friend circle was there except me made me feel really bad and like I don't matter. I know that sounds dramatic, but this is an important day in her life and we are admittedly not as close as we used to be, but we used to live together and she is definitely no closer with any of the other girls, so why did they get invites and I didn't? It feels personal and unfortunately I feel like I can't even ask because it's over now and I don't want to seem like a baby. It also bugs me that people share this stuff on IG knowing full well that the people you don't want to see it will see it. Hide me from your stories then? The fact that she didn't makes me think that she thinks she didn't even do anything wrong. And P.S., since I know you guys want context, there was no fight or anything before this. We have been perfectly fine for years. Drifted apart slightly as you do after college and whatnot, but there was no reason I should have been left out. Sometimes she has goldfish mentality, though, like unless you're literally up in her shit and part of her life right this moment, she doesn't remember you exist. My favorite part, too, is that she's one of those people who meditates and does yoga, self-care, all that shit, and yet somehow has zero self-awareness or actual mindfulness for anyone else. Like it's the TikTok self-care bullshit where actually you're just being self Selfish and need therapy. Ha ha. Am I overreacting or does she suck? Fantastic. You want to... And it's great because it's an Instagram submission and Jeremy is like king of Instagram. Right. So they probably <laughs> follow me. They're going to be mad at me after this. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Right off the top. Ooh, right off the top. So what they, do you got? Mean... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I think immediately it's like, I'm sorry. It's this girl's wedding. And you're like, why didn't she block me from stories? Are you fucking kidding I, me? I, I mean, I just <laughs> relax. Listen, I, I think it's understandable to be a little bit hurt. But yes. you admit that you're not as close as you were. There's sure. probably a certain number of people that were supposed to come. If I was only invited to the reception and not the ceremony, I'd be fucking thrilled. So same. I? I'd be same. Like, yeah. I want to go to a stupid wedding. <laughs> yeah. Hang on. <laughs> Okay, so yeah. and also if you got the invitation and only said reception, a normal response should have been like text her like, "Hey, I, I actually would love to come to the, to the wedding." And the girl would have been like, "Oh, okay, sure." She wouldn't have said no. Why did she wait to after this to be like, well, "I'll butt her." Well, it doesn't cost wait, wait, more. Wait, 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 no, 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 hold or on. Or maybe it's a small like church or something. I'm maybe. confused I because there, I don't think she was in. She wasn't invited to the ceremony. She no, wasn't, but she should. But have I'm asked. saying she got an invite and asked. it said, "Come to the reception, reception only." At that point, she should have texted the girl. But like, I don't think that's how that works. First of all, I don't know because I've literally never gotten an invitation that is. Is separate but I don't think you send an invitation that just says like set like reception but if it said come to the Hilton whatever at right. 10 p.m. she knows it's not the fucking ceremony no that's not true because some places have the ceremony and the reception in the same place I've always gotten mm. checklists where no. you yeah, check where I've gotten those things too I think you guys are literally the most wrong you could ever be that no, is, that's because there is it is like a certain amount of people and people sometimes people are like oh I can't come to the reception save your money I'll just come to the thing like but no I've you don't get invited to the like you either get invited to both usually or it's like 
or they You've do never a, been able to choose? Never been able to choose in all the weddings That's, I've been to. I've been never. able to choose a bunch of them. Yeah. Never once. I mean, it, it does exist. I don't know exist. what you're talking about. I'm not I literally making, don't know. You're, you're, you're saying two people that have yeah, never two heard, men. Two men Sorry. who've two never. Men. Okay, let's just let's just assess what's happening here. You're saying two guys who have never met have both said they've gotten checklists. And I didn't prep for this, Dara. So yeah, no way we could have talked. I want to know what this in this invitation looked like. It was. It's, I it got said in, like it said like here here. If you can't make one, make the other, whichever one you want. Yeah, and it says let us know which one do you want to. You can yeah. attend I've one or the other. And uh, this is. I mean. I've gone to mostly Indian weddings, and to be honest, those I, are like those are insane. Though I love to avoid an Indian yeah. uh, rece- uh, what's ceremony because ceremony, there's seven hours. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're way too long. That's they're, like they're Greek ten weddings. in the morning, yeah, yeah. and that's different. So it's like I've gotten the options. They usually will say like ceremony is at X time, and then yeah. first yeah. of all, and I'm that invitation skipping the ceremony. So that should have like been a key in her head, but like, oh, maybe I'm not invited to that thing. I don't. I don't know. I mean. I, or maybe it's like Again. maybe it's like a oh we're we're inviting maybe it's like we're inviting couples to well, this thing. Well, that's the thing. Or, or or maybe it was like small family thing because that's what that's where right. my that's what my I mean. mind would have gone. Do you is think it's like, wrong to ask? See, that's the thing. Is like I I thought about that too, and I was like maybe she should have asked. But personally, yeah. I'm with you guys in the sense that I would not want to be invited to the no, ceremony. I, I'm also, thrilled when I'm not I invited to the ceremony. It doesn't sound like she like was desperate to go to the ceremony. It sounds like she's mad she wasn't in well, the see, Instagram that's photos. The thing. And it's, it's like it's okay, not, it's not your day. When I you think, have your wedding, you can make no, whatever decision I think, you want. No, I think she has a right to feel slighted. No, I would she, feel oh, the no, no, same. No, no, no. Exact I don't disagree with that. Like she, she yeah. like she's obviously upset. There's no reason to take that away from her. Right. But I do feel like you know, out of all, you the think things, it's maybe... the FOMO more than the actual ceremony. No, yeah. I think it's the I think it's the feeling left out because she said that's it makes FOMO. her feel like she yeah. not FOMO though because that's more that's like oh different. it's yes, it's true. like a yeah, party yeah. Yes. element. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She said I feel like I don't matter. That's oh. like a very deep way of internalizing. Something isn't like that. isn't that the deepest way to internalize that's, FOMO? That's well, because well, FOMO is usually I mean, more like I you're think, missing out on the fun. I think that she's I think that she's internalizing a lot where yes. this girl the the the, the bride was not trying to slight. Her. Yeah, I don't I think, think that's so either. Don't take it so personal. Like, yeah, your relationship yeah. isn't the way it is. But don't and you think you're sad about that? But that's separate than this girl being like, "Fuck that girl." Totally. Ever make sure you're tagging everyone's stories, but her. You know, totally it wasn't agree. Mali- wasn't malicious. I right. don't think it was malicious either, because also, like she said, even like with the hiding of the stories, I to me, I read that as an exaggeration, like dramatic statement. I didn't think she actually meant hide me know. from your stories, but we don't know. I don't think it was done out of malice, because truthfully, if it was, yeah. I think that she would have said to her friends, like, "Don't post yes, exactly. hide." Yeah. This right. bitch, you it know what I mean? Real red flag. It was yeah. like, wait, isn't the wedding today? Where exactly. are all the photos? Yeah. Right, exactly. So it's and then like, you go into your burner and then you see them and then you're like, right. oh shit. Then yeah. you know it was malicious. But this to me seemed like, and she said herself, a friend is a goldfish mentality. So maybe it was really just an oversight. But I can't fault her for feeling like left out. I would absolutely feel I don't the same know if way. It was an oversight. It was probably like, okay, there's a limited amount of seats and yeah, they're like, but, who do we invite? She's like, oh, I haven't talked to this girl in fucking. Three but she years. said the other friends are the same level she of closeness. Thinks, she thinks that is. Everyone. They don't know that. I mean, got they all know. Levels. Yeah, but they all know each other, so I would think she knows them. But you have. Much, but don't you know? people have different college roommates? Relationships. I can't even tell you who my college roommates were. Okay, yeah. but so you're gonna say though, if you were getting married and you invited a bunch of friends, let's say coworkers, and then you invite them, but not your old college roommate. Well, we don't. I think that that's. Don't we don't know the strange. details. Totally They're so. I'm different. just saying. Yeah. I think that yeah. I do understand the feeling left out because I've been in that spot where I'll see some stuff on stories with my friends, and I'm like. That's weird that I wasn't invited, but then I just try to come up with a million reasons in my head for why. But I do, I do think it's a real thing, and but I've, of course, I've no, had this yeah. conversation with multiple friends yeah, yeah. where they like see something on Instagram stories and they get upset by it, and it's like, how much of that should we be taking, and how much of it should we actually? I just like, don't think it's deal malicious. It. It's yeah. totally, I don't think so either. Like, uh, of course you should like. That's right. a total real thing to feel that way. But exactly. I don't, I don't think it was trying to single you out or hurt you. No, 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 totally. You know? I don't think it was. The either. giveaway to me from the submission is like I. I didn't want to bring it up because I don't want to feel like a baby. Yes. That to me is the tell. Yeah. That to me is yeah. you've already determined your self-worth. Well, so your mm-hmm. self-worth is so that you feel like you can't say anything to this person. So I don't want to come oh. off like a baby. It's like, no, only you feel this way because you've written that. Mm. So I think that you should be the person to be like, if this bothers you, I don't want to feel like a baby. No, no, say something. There's well, nothing wrong with bringing up like, hey, 
I felt like, and that's okay. Or what um, you do is you go get married, invite her only to the reception, uh, sorry, yes. only to the ceremony, not yes. the reception. Yes. Stick the knife in her a little that's bit. That's actually such a, that's a the good long revenge. Con. Wait, ten, go find a man. Yeah. And to make it a green yeah. card marriage. So this way you make money off it. Yes. And that's how you get her on a you long call. That's, long a, con. that's a good long con. And yeah. it's a good revenge because no yes. one, no one wants to be invited to only the ceremony. Exactly. Yeah. I, now that's but, a slight. Exactly. But I was going to say, and there's no reception. It's just a Hindu ceremony that's like 14 hours long. A Greek wedding that's In a four language hours long. that's long dead. No. And that's exactly what they're doing. And it's all for spite. And listen, yeah, exactly. I respect spite. Mm -hmm. I love spite and shame. It's great. Yeah. But I do think like she was writing in because she knows that it may not be worth saying something. To me, this was a pick your battles moment. Yeah, at this point we're past. I don't think yeah. I don't think it's worth bringing up. Like I agree with you. Look, if it, if something bothers you, yes, and you're holding on to it, you should absolutely always say something. But in this case, I think this is a pick your battles moment. It doesn't sound like this is something you really need to bring up, in my mm. opinion. I think it's something to sit back and see if it happens again, and then you bring it up. I mean, I would also ask the <laughs> other friends in the group. That well, yeah. seems more fair. Like, hey, yeah. do you, did she say anything? Like, well, right. right. Yeah. yeah. But girls also, are, they're not going to This is tell a you. problem <laughs> of a relationship in general. The yeah. entire relationship is an issue because yeah. you've got a woman who's got a goldfish mentality, mm -hmm. and then the oh. person who's submitting, they've, they're taking these things deeply personal. Yes. So it can both can be true but yeah. when both are true that's a powder keg situation because you can constantly take this person's uh forgetfulness as personal mm. and you go oh man they you know it's spite but you, it's like you have to know people and you have to yeah. know your friends you have to yes. know who you're dealing with like right. i know that i have a few friends that are like this and I don't really take the things that they do that upset me anymore personally because I know it's not personal. I know it's mm -hmm. just a forgetfulness thing, a similar situation to having goldfish mentality. I just know that they're a little more self-involved and I don't mean that in a bad way, but it's also like you can't always think that you're just that important that you're always going to be at the top of this person's Nobody mind. thinks about other people this much. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Well, at that's all, what I was going to say. Really? But, but like it is tough. you wouldn't have been invited at all. Totally. Yeah. Right. And I do, but I do understand the whole Instagram thing, shoving things in your face sometimes that you would have just been better off not seeing. I've been there and it does suck, especially when it's your friends and you're like, why was I That's I what there? I think the problem you know with I mean? this, with social media is the yeah. fact that it's now you're subjected to it. So it's, exactly. it's overload. Mm -hmm. right. And it's un like, from, there was time being younger sitting in your house and it's like a Friday and you're just chilling in your home no, no problem <laughs> no biggie yeah. and then you come to school Monday morning you come to find out there was a party Friday night yeah and yeah. you felt like you felt a little burned by it because you weren't invited nobody called you and you go all right man well, that sucks. But then you move on. That's not that how. That feels worse. That feels worse. That feels way worse. I think worse. It, was, it was better because there's lack of photos. There's lack of stories. Yeah, but at least happening. Like, you could have like confronted it. In, you could have like internalized it by yourself a little bit. Yes. As opposed to like, getting to school and having to deal with it. It feels, it feels like a million that times worse. worse. I don't, yeah, yeah, I, that feels for worse. For me, I think me. that that's okay because like now yeah. it's over. Also, though, it's you, fine. You're also forgetting, though, this is girls versus boys here. Because yeah. girls do get, I think, more upset about this type of stuff than men do. And or men just really don't talk about it men don't say yeah. it i i feel like i've never known a I guy been, friend i would like i would have pulled him aside at the wedding and be like thank you so much for not inviting literally me. Yeah, i mean absolutely. that's that's the other thing there's also a difference <laughs> i add yeah. more money to you, the envelope you really get me yeah. yes 100 percent. if i skip i skip most ceremonies on purpose <laughs> except jewish ceremonies really i like jewish because they're fast why fast they're fast they're fast i mean sure yeah. but and, no no i'm gonna tell you right now if we gotta skip if we're gonna rank the religions <laughs> which i think Great. we've been meaning to do uh, fuck mary gill yeah. <laughs> Let's get into it. Um, remix. <laughs> no. It, it, you brought up time travel, Dara, and it's about time we assess something. I'm, I'm so I'm going to say if we have to pick religious ceremonies, and let's just go with just three. We're going to do Hinduism, Catholicism, and Judaism. And we're not going to do a fuck, marry, kill, but I'm just going to say right off the top. Somebody who's been to a bunch of Hindu weddings, they're way too long mm. in a language most people don't understand. Mm. It's Sanskrit. Now, Catholicism, the problem, that's also... That's they can take a while, too. They can take a while, yeah. and they can be relatively short. There is an option for both. Mm -hmm. But what I don't like is this, and this is the key difference. When it comes to Jewish weddings, not only are they short, which makes them great. The <laughs> second thing that makes them even better, the rabbi 
always money. <laughs> always <laughs> making jokes. Always come in money. And well, I, know, I mean, they are performing. They're yeah, performing. They're, they're funny. They are yeah. performing. They're funny. Jews they're are emotional. Funny. They come in swinging with the hammers. Yeah. Okay? So. They're ready. They, they're just... I once saw this rabbi... I saw him at two weddings. Mm-hmm. I saw him at two weddings, <laughs> and I was excited to see him again. He's because like, did he do the he, same bits? Though? Yes. I was just gonna say, he's a gig. Ra- <laughs> was stoked. He's a gig rabbi. He's a gig rabbi. He was, and my friend was annoyed because he told us, like, "Guys, no videos of my performance tonight. Yeah. I don't want to get it out. Yeah. You're giving out yonder bags. <laughs> the I got a special <laughs> dropping on Netflix. I would like the content to be there." And let me tell you, this Jewish, this rabbi, my friend was annoyed because he did the same bits as another mutual friend's wedding. Oh, God. But I was stoked <laughs> because I remembered the bits and I was, and I got, I started to tear up. You're the like first, waiting for that. Yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. He talked about this That's couple funny. and it was a beautiful story. You yeah. know what? I'm going to just spoil his bits. <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. He talked about a couple marrying together and they were like, they got married and they didn't have much money and he got her a bag of peanuts and he said, I wish this was a bag of diamonds. And then years passed and they, you know, things worked out really well. They did really well financially, but he was, he was sick. And then he got her a bag of diamonds and he said, I wish this was a bag of peanuts. I don't get mm. it. Cause he wished she can go it. back in time. Mm. At last, uh, this is called the full circle moment. Now we yeah, came right I, back I to your story. Yeah, I completely missed oh, it. Well. Sorry, oh, wow. I, I, I was not. You get it, right? Yes, yes, yes. I it's was not really, following that. It's I really sweet gesture, yeah. and I was like, I got. Although really, a bag of diamonds seems very weird. What are you gonna do with that? I mean, I, I mean, understand that. I understand. <laughs> it's, it's a lot. It's a, listen. Is it even real? Who knows? I don't think so. Who, Probably of not. It's not. Yeah, because I'm gonna like. I don't even no, understand no, no, the story. It's not like a planter. I'm thinking like what's the what's the cartoon? What do ducks? Oh, uh, DuckTales. Yeah, I'm thinking yeah. like DuckTales. Duck like Scrooge yeah. McDuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Yes. Yeah. So it's that. It's literally just saying how time passes and I wish that we could have gone back in time. I see. Okay. Because now time is it's fleeting. And it was yeah. such a beautiful story. And I go, yo, Jewish weddings? Yeah. Number one. I mean, one. okay, that's that's fine and that's fair. But I still think ultimately if you can skip the ceremony, do it. Like that's yeah. sorry. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. how I feel. Absolutely. And I think this was a good example of like wanting to be invited to something that you wouldn't want to go to in the first place. At least that's how I well, she yeah. wanted. To. I, I mean, maybe I feel she, like she wanted to, want but I'm just saying mm-hmm. if it were me, I'm like, I wouldn't get upset about that because I wouldn't really want to be there anyway. But if she did, then that's different. But I do understand the, how she feels about feeling left out. I do. I just think it's shitty. And I think that that's something we deal with in social media all the time. Everybody's about. allowed to feel bad yeah. about that. But mm-hmm. then it, right. the, uh, towards the end of the submission, it mm-hmm. gets, it gets oh. kind of, it gets wait. nasty. Wait, wait, no, no, no. Gets, I'm sorry. Yeah. She is so fucking right about that. The amount of people, and I don't think guys deal with this as much because this is, a lot of women women thing mm-hmm. but the like self-care biohacking sage up my ass these are like the most toxic seems like she people. doesn't respect her friends at all I mean, I'm sorry, but like, she's not wrong. Probably these are usually the most also, toxic people. Also, sure. I sorry. like self care mindfulness. As I a do guy. too. Yeah, I kind of dig it. I do too, but that's not the point. There yeah. are people who do it as a way to avoid their problems and yes. avoid therapy and avoid confrontation because yeah. they think self care. I just need to remove myself from right. this situation. The problem is they they Fuck do it. Fuck you. Go to therapy. Right. They do it to their advantage. Right. Exactly. And there's, there's a million it's of selfish. these. You know the weird thing is because we were talking about Jesus before. There was a lot of these characters back during Jesus's era mm. these prophets Jesus wasn't the only one mm. he just happened to be good at it yeah see what I mean whereas there was a m- bunch of these guys and now with social media there's because a bunch he was bu- a Jew because so he's the best yeah, well that's that's neither here nor there but the point <laughs> is yeah, can we not make this I thought the that's religion what this podcast, podcast. Is what is this podcast <laughs> It's, yeah, you both suck time for talking travel. about uh, Christianity and Judaism. That's what it is. But it's like it's yeah. so. I think there's a lot of these prophets now, and this self care mindfulness stuff has yeah, exploded. Yeah, and it's bullshit. Most it is of a it. lot. It's a lot. It's and, mostly bullshit, and because you're teaching it to people who are like tweens, so right. they don't fucking know anything. So they just think, oh, I'm protecting my peace by just avoiding <laughs> everything and everyone. That's not how that works. Do you think Sorry. that everyone? I do think that uh, when the writer had written in about. Um, 
um, therapy. And mm. I just also think that therapy is sort of, it's a personal thing. No, it's of everyone's course, journey. Of course, everyone's, of and everyone progresses differently, right? Yeah, yeah, Some yeah. people will go to therapy and they're going to be, they were monsters before and they're less of a monster now. But sure. at least you're like, you got to take what you can get. No, no, of and course. And I think that she's a little annoyed and I think this starts to bleed through towards the end of the submission. I'd be annoyed yeah. too. It's a shitty thing to do. Sorry, yes. I think it's a little shitty and I understand where she's coming from. Right. And I do also. I don't think it's shitty. I just I think, think it's fine to be annoyed. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's a little I just, shitty. It wasn't a slight on her. I, I, I think and this is. I don't think it was personal, but I do think my it was best weird. friends in the whole world. She's like, I don't know. I barely talk to this girl anymore. No, but that's not no. true. She said it was, they were still friends. They hang out all the time when they were together. How like, long has that been? Well, I mean, she didn't give a timeline, but oh, I mean, she, didn't see that. she, but was she said like, they all out. hang out together when they're all in when town because they all, they all town, don't live. Which means they all live all over the country. I mean, even maybe still. this girl talks to those girls every single day and she doesn't realize that. Maybe that's true, but this point is being is time. like that group gets together whenever right. they're in the same place. Now imagine, because you have a friend that lives in Italy. Yes. Imagine if he came into town and invited all the other guys that you said you hang out with. Right. And then you weren't invited and you saw it on Instagram. Wouldn't you feel some kind of way? I mean. I think you would. I would feel a way. But Thank then, you. But this is to your point and this is to Jeremy's point, what mm -hmm. I'm going to say next. You get to determine the world you want to live in. Mm, so this okay. is like for you you would find this shitty okay right you would be upset in that way and for jeremy you would be like art it's annoying you see what i'm saying it's the yeah. same so, thing you're no, just no, using no. a different word no no but there's there's levels to it right whereas like i think that one person and you're don't not, take the focus off of you how would you feel if someone <laughs> no. did this to you? I, i'm saying i would feel if if it was that specific friend uh-huh yeah, of course I'd be upset. Okay. Right, but I'm not saying... But uh, maybe but, that friendship is much closer than this one. I'm, yeah, still, that, I'm still unconvinced on how close this relationship is. Right, that's is. the point, though. Is like, I'm agreeing, with, like I'm agreeing a, with you, yeah. and I'm also agreeing with you. Yeah. I'm saying that at the end of the day, it it's based on the world a person wants to live in. I understand that, and too. And if they want to live Perception in... Perception is reality. Right, and if they want to mm. live in a world where you're saying it's shitty, mm. and you're just being like, I'm irked, I'm a little irked, and no one is wrong. Right, no I understand wrong. that, too. But the point is that is just that we've determined how we want to feel about these things, and you don't feel as strongly about this, as you, whereas you do, and yes. nothing is wrong about right. either one, right. but it's just right. like, so you have to ask yourself, what world would you want to craft for yourself? Well, that's but that's easier said than done, though, of, because of I think that that comes back. Than done. That's, but that's what <laughs> that's, I mean. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. you can't just decide that I'm not, I'm not bothered I'm not by deciding. this. You know what I mean? No, but if I've decided personally, Personally, that now let's say this specific friend that you're mentioning that she's bringing up, mm. this is one of my best friends. If he did this, yeah, of course I'd be, I'd be very upset, okay. and that's understandable, sure. and that's not. But then ultimately, would I be the kind of person who just goes, yeah, yeah, all right, well that sucked, but uh, I'm also gonna look for. And if he said, yeah, man, I messed up, and a buddy of mine recently didn't invite me to his engagement party, mm -hmm. and he messaged me, and this is somebody who I spent literally a month ago, we went away together for four days. Mm -hmm. And he didn't invite me to his engagement party. Mm. We slept in an RV together. <laughs> and this was a, a guy that I hung out with like for yeah. four days. Okay. And he was like, yeah, dude, I messed up. I forgot to invite you. And I was like, yeah, that sucks. It hurt. Okay. But then yeah. at the same time, I also go, well, oh, well. Yeah, I think, and, and that's the world I want to live. That's and that's and that's great. Of I course. just think that that's for me though. Like hearing that, I would have probably been like, "Why'd you forget?" That's fucking. See, it's a but little, that's that's the world you live in. I'm just yeah. saying though. And but I, that's, been, I would have been like, whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I still think you're also taking things that I guys been wouldn't like, give a shit about. To me, it's a slight on me. Oh yeah. no, no, no! I wouldn't think like, that I, either. I'd be like, you're fucking stupid. Whatever. Yeah, I understand that too. But I nobody's wrong here. Is what I'm saying. It's just like it just. But the way that you want to feel is up to you. I understand. And, and now that. they yeah. owe me a favor. I understand right. that too. <laughs> and I think, and I think this just comes down to managing expectations right. when it comes to friendships and Instagram specifically. Yes, is like you're gonna probably see more of that. So in a way, it's like get used to it. I know right. I have yes, because of sometimes course. you're just like, okay, I'm not a part of this, and that's fine. Like, you, you know how many you know times I, mean? I see yeah. parties that are happening for stand-up comics, and they're all there, and the famous comics are there, yeah. and I'm not there. I'm in, I'm somewhere on the road or yeah. whatever, and I'm watching it all unfold, and it sucks. And maybe I'm in the city and I don't even get yeah. invited and, and that happens often but what do I what it comes down to is like I want to I get to choose how I want to feel it's usually about not this. personal and I agree with that's that. what I'm saying I like, and I, I, and I take, think that with right. this situation yeah. too I don't even think with this, this was I don't think this was personal I don't right. think it was malicious yes I think it was a maybe goldfish the groom mentality 
or maybe the, the groom's like, I don't want that fucking bitch at my wedding. She's like, she has to come. <laughs> yeah, she's my best friend. He's like, right. just invite her goddamn reception. Right. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to give. <laughs> we don't know. I right. doubt. I doubt answers. that because yeah. the, again, because if you hated somebody, you'd invite them to the ceremony, not the reception. <laughs> yes, that's yeah, true. Well, but that's how we feel. <laughs> I mean, we're not, the nope. psychos. He in was this like, but I, on my yeah. special yeah. day. Yeah. I just can't understand wanting to choose a ceremony over a cocktail hour. Can you imagine? I mean, that's crazy. Appetizers. You're turning. You're gonna go to a ceremony. First of all. Someone told me once, like, uh, to come to their wedding, like, uh, late or something. They were like, oh, you can come late. Because I was, like, busy. And they were like, you can come late. It's fine. I was like, and miss cocktail hour? Are you insane? That's the best part of the entire thing. I once (laughs) got just invited to the ceremony. No, that's bullshit. No, thank you. I'm not going. You're going to put in that work. I'm not going. 100%. I've done that also. Literally, I'm not going. They don't give you food. I've never been invited to beverage. Literally, I've never been invited to just a ceremony or just a, like, not either or. But still. Yeah, that's that's crazy behavior. I don't know. Anyway, well, right. okay. So that's so kind of we what get I to think. art. So let's. Yeah. I think let's get into the. Uh, let's get into the determination. Okay. Where, now, does Jeremy have the gavel? Je- Jeremy does have the gavel. <laughs> okay. You get he to doesn't bang know, it. But yeah, you get to after bang the we're gavel. All done. After we're all done. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, okay. So um, <laughs> everyone does the same. They're thing very when excited. We give them. They're very excited to bang, <laughs> the gavel. bang it. Yeah. Everyone does that. All right. Uh, so you want to? You know what? Let's let Jeremy give the last determination. Yes, because he has the gavel, so he goes last. Okay. I mean, for me, I understand where this person's coming from i don't think that the friend did it maliciously Mm -hmm. in a weird way i want to say neither of them sucks um but wow interesting i've never seen that twist before i i think i don't know if i'm allowed to say that you are allowed to say i mean it's our podcast yeah we can do whatever we want i'm gonna make up the rules and i'm gonna change things up i'm actually gonna say nobody sucks here because i don't really feel like it was intentional by the friend and i don't blame the uh, the writer for feeling the way that she felt i would have felt the same way so i'm gonna say nobody sucks i'm gonna go with an opposite call they Mm -hmm. both suck i think that everyone but that's just sort of how people weddings can be like that. Yeah. People get in their own way. People get mm-hmm. people think it's about a hectic it. time. It's a very hectic time. It's it's a show. You're putting on a show. Situations occur. Problems arise. You can't take a lot of this personally. I'm sh- and you know and the person does and that's man. You can change all that and that's you know and for taking all this to letting allowing this to hurt you, it that makes it suck for you. You're doing this to yourself in some capacity. So I think that it sucks that way. And I think that this person also sucks in a lot of ways too for maybe even, you know, and not being able to keep that determination because you feel that you guys are close enough. Yeah, I think that's a lot of suckery around the board. Okay. And what do you think? I just think she sucks. The, wow. the, the writer? Or the yeah, friend? if I'm going to choose between the two, okay. mm. you guys kind of went down the middle. Yeah. I'm gonna make a determination here. I mean, you don't have to. That's why it's called "You Both Suck." You can say no, you but both I just, suck. but I just feel like we have no idea what that other yeah. girl is thinking. So I think it's not fair for me to accuse that girl of sucking when I have a lot of context here for this. But then, girl. if that was the case, then every single thing we d- debate on the podcast, well, maybe would, you uh, should go back would, and you should go back and find these fucking people. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It's like if we did that, then we'd have to. The pick post show the, should be the extra on YouTube should be yeah. finding the other fucking people. Wait, so the yeah, hunt yeah. for the person they're <laughs> yes. writing about? Exactly. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, we never make any decisions. When the Patreon drops, that's what, See, that's it's what it just is. Dara and I in trench coats. Money. Yes. yes. And Perfect. we've got like fedoras and we're solving yes. inve- clues and investigations. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now, I like it as an idea. <laughs> as a construct, I like it. All right. So, no, so I just think that like, because we don't know the other side, there's a million answers to what it could be, mm-hmm. but I do feel that personally you have like projected a lot into the situation, especially being like. They they didn't even hide me from stories. I was like, oh, whoa, whoa. And like you guys said, it's totally fair for her to feel that way. But I think she's taken it like farther, farther beyond it where she there was lots of moments here yeah. to figure this out. Mm. And she ignored all of it and is now still feeling really bad about it. Mm. You know, and I don't want her to feel worse by me telling her she sucks. But, you know, yeah. if I have to I, make a determination. I do. I do agree with what he has to say there, too. You so know, change your verdict. I mean, no. I, I don't have to change my verdict. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to change my verdict. Yeah, exactly. Like, don't still, get carried away. Your verdict is part my yes. verdict, so it's okay. So it's yes. all well and good. All right, yeah, yeah. perfect. All right. Well, I like this. We Split have... opinions. Yes. All right. All around. So, yeah. Uh, Jeremy, give it's us... a mistrial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, it could be a mistrial. We're taking it back. Yes. Uh, Jeremy, where can people find you? What do you got coming up? What do you got going on? Yeah, uh, at Jeremy Jacobowitz everywhere. Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Snaps on fire. Facebook's <laughs> back crushing it. Uh, I Beautiful. swear to God. You still use Snapchat? I make I make so much money from Snapchat, it's stupid. Are you For serious? doing literally nothing. Wait, you make so much. Did you say money? Money. Cash money. Really? Snapchat pays. Moolah. 
Yeah. I'm so shocked. Just by, by views. This. Nothing's nothing crazy. I just post all my videos there. That's so wild. Gen like Gen Alpha is all over that shit. That's a new thing. Snapchat, you know, I baby. Hate everything. Snapchat is back. <laughs> um yeah, I mean I'm exactly producing a bunch of films. Those will come out at some point. So if you Ooh. follow me, you can see okay. those things too. Beautiful. Yes, yes. Um, and for us, you can submit or send your squabbles uh, to our anonymous Google form on our Instagram, which is at You Both Suck Podcast. And I am at Dara Pollock. I'm at All Day KCA. You'll see shows and uh, clips and stuff like that coming up there. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's it. Thank you, guys. Okay, bye. Bye.